All right, so Virgo. As I was shuffling, these two cards fell out. So you have two new beginnings. One in love and one in, well, let's just say business opportunity, new job, promotion, investment, new income, which is very positive. Uh, also new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. But there's, a, there's two blessings, two gifts coming in for you from spirit these are kind of like finding a hundred bucks in your coat pocket from last winter you know what i mean that jacket you haven't worn all year that coat and you reach in starting to get warmer you reach in and wow look a surprise so i feel like these are two gifts coming in from you and for you out of the blue unexpected but we'll get into that and see what's going on All right, Virgo. So let's start with love. What's going on with love? Oh, gosh. Someone here. There's an energy of no, like this could be you, maybe somebody else, but there's an energy here, Virgo, of moving on, forgiveness, healing, hope returning. And I feel like it's because of this blessing of love that's coming in for you. This is such a feel-good vibe. It's so healing. No more sadness. No more grief. Overcoming. Yeah, and you're going to get some type of communication from someone. Okay, someone's super, super excited to talk to you. A little bit of a dopamine hit there, Virgo. Someone excited to talk to you. Could be a water sign. Could be a fire sign. Someone smitten with you, Virgo, has a little bit of a crush on you, okay? And this is somebody new, or it's a new start. Let's take a look. Keep going. Okay. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Wow. Okay. So this person, you might know them, you might not, but it doesn't matter. There's healing. There's overcoming grief. And some kind of communication coming in from someone. It could be this person overcoming their grief. This is air, energy, sun, moon, rising. Forgiveness. I'm just hearing forgiveness. I got the call today. Didn't want to hear. But you found somebody else. All right. There's a new chapter, Virgo. Wow. This is amazing. This is such a beautiful way to start your reading. This is kind of like looking back on the past, walking away from any lessons that may have been learned or uh, completing, like it's completion. Lesson learned, I'm hearing. Walking away from an online or a long distance relationship and somebody coming in from afar. All right, let's see. All right, for some of you, this is somebody that doesn't want to let you go. I got to say that. Oh, there's a fire sign that doesn't want to let you go. Oh, what? Okay, now things are switching around. Things are changing. Virgo, you're finding somebody new. That somebody new is coming into your life, and there's somebody else that doesn't that just they're like obsessed or possessive over you and finding out about you starting your life over or having a new beginning with a new person makes them hold on even more oh wow Virgo. this could be someone from your hometown this person listen they're not letting you go there's a fire sign that's not letting you go okay now that we have two court cards I really feel like they're narrowing it down. There's a new air sign coming in and a fire sign who's like, I want you back. Yes, somebody wants you back. Masculine or feminine energy, okay? There's a fire sign who believes that you and they, like you're their 1111. You're their person. Anyway, 
this new connection that you're making here is causing someone wanting to reunite with you like it feels like anybody who wants to reunite with you must be somebody that either you were married to or you had a connection an emotional connection or a bond with obviously that's not happening anymore okay yeah emotional connection and a bond so virgo um I don't feel like this past thing is as important maybe because I feel like there's some blessing or something new coming in here. And I don't know why, but there's an overcoming of grief. So something in the past must have caused a lot of heartbreak. So what are you walking into here, Virgo? What are you walking into? Oh my gosh. Passion. Fiery energy. Wow. This is amazing. All right, Virgo. They're also giving you the King of Cups. Why? You got a lot going on. You have a lot going on. You have a fire sign from your past who um, wants to connect with you, they haven't let go of you. You have a new air sign coming in, and you have a King of Cups that you've turned your back on here. Now, when I say king of cups, when I say air sign, when I say fire sign, these could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus, okay? But obviously the story is <laughs> it's really playing out here in a different way, where it's almost like three storylines. So any confusion, I will try to avoid that and keep it very simple. You've turned your back on a water sign. You got the courage and the strength to turn your back on someone. You spoke your truth and now you're speaking to whomever else or opening yourself up for other communication with other people. And the tide has turned on someone that you had your back to. You do not, I see you here, not wanting any kind of a reunion or reconnection with someone you've turned your back to. So it's kind of like what's going on here you have like three different energies showing up there's a okay so let's and we're, I, I guess we're going to get into the money situation a little bit at towards the end here i feel like spirit wants to talk about what's going on here all right virgo there's a passionate new beginning in love with someone new from now until the middle of November. And you will be communicating with this newish person. Okay, Virgo? Or at least they will be reaching out to you and communicating with you. Um, the person who's not letting you go, who wants to reunite with you, even if it's just as friends, I don't feel like they... Um, there's something special about your connection in their mind and I don't feel like they are willing to let you go fully so you might get like some kind of maybe a friend request from them or um, they follow you on social media if you're on there um, if you're not you might see them or bump into this person who doesn't want to let you go at an event of some sort yeah, and there, yeah, so there will be some kind of communication from them, okay? Are they going to tell you they don't want to let you go? No, they're going to show you, okay? That you really mean a lot to them. They hold you in high regard, Virgo. Um, and it might just be a friendship, but I feel like, I don't know, Virgo, it kind of feels like since you, since you have new love opportunity here, you're, I hate to say this, but this is the message i'm getting spirit saying because you have another opportunity here you're in demand so to speak this is what spirit's telling me i'm not saying this because i don't know it's coming from the energy from these other two people where it's a little shallow but it is what it is you're in demand therefore your value seems to be higher in their eyes okay which I guess they are, 
you're you know it's kind of like when a product gets put out in the store and and everybody wants it and then but they only have it out for like a little while and then scarce scarcity this is like an economic thing and then they they put they take it off the shelf and then it's not going to be back on the shelf they don't know when and so people are starting to crave it even more they want it more and then when it goes back out on the shelf everybody like barrel rushes to the front doors before the store opens to get the product you know so it's kind of like that right has to has a lot to do with scarcity a moratorium and then in, and something being your you being in demand, okay? Uh, listen, I am not an economist. I mean, yeah, I know about sales and stuff. But this gives me like a rubber band effect, like a rubber the rubber band kind of theory. So, you know, that's what I feel like is going on here. Um, and I feel like the King of Cups does want to reconnect with you definitely but it feels more like with the three of cups in the reverse it feels like more of like um just having fun to have fun with you but you maybe that's why you turned your back on that person because it was just good time charlie <laughs> fun time fanny i don't know what the deal is but yeah, I kind of feel like that that's the energy. Yeah, see, there was an energy with a King of Cups where it's like abandonment left out in the cold. This person's like super, super dependent on you or maybe even like a little, they have a dependency thing or codependency, which is fine. But it was struggle. Uh, that connection definitely is struggle. And it looks like you turned your back on that, okay? So apart from those other two people like i said you have like some brand new beginning starting here for you and an opportunity somebody coming in who shows up as an air sign sun moon rising or venus now let me look okay two of swords in the reverse wow definitely a compromise let me see. This is going to knock you off balance a little bit. This person showing up. Oh, yeah, look. You're definitely going to find yourself really wanting connection with them. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. A little bit of a greedy energy. It's going to knock you off balance a little bit. So just like I said with the dopamine hit, it, it's going to feel like, I don't know, there's such a passionate connection that evolves between you and this person it actually makes you forget about your past like your grievances okay or your grief if you're in grief or if you're just feeling kind of melancholy or just i don't know something stirs up here with this person oh yeah look at that it affects you like deeply internally you intuit that this is something that you want okay oh my gosh yeah the moon in the reverse this is amazing you get clarity on your intuition you already know the answer you seek and i feel like what you're seeking is someone that actually stirs up those passions within you but also it's not just physical passion it's an energy of intellectual stimulation as well because this person is very intellectually stimulating you can have good conversation with them a lot of magic i feel happens it could be a gemini but a lot of magic happens with this person someone's there's travel by train they just said travel by train you might meet them on a train i don't know if you're if you take a train or there might be like training involved with this person Let's see. Gosh, it is very positive energy. It's good. It feels really, really good with this person. Anything else for Virgo to know? Oh, wow. Look at you. You're just uh, definitely accessing your feminine energy. I feel like you're going to... Okay. <laughs> for the feminines, 
I'm just remember that old song they're giving me my gosh I don't know I kind of like the song I wasn't a big fan of it but I remember it it was called feel like a woman so for the femmes <laughs> the feminines it's definitely going to make you feel almost like this person will make you feel they give you that you're a queen um people don't usually say empress but empress is she's the queen of all she's the the mother of all queens do you know what i mean like she has all four elements fire air water and earth she's the embodim embodiment of perfect feminine venus energy And I feel like this King of Swords, there's no manipulation here. This feels like amazing. As far as the, the fellas, this person will make you feel like a man. <laughs> will make you feel like the epitome of everything masculine as a male. Okay? That's pretty interesting. Wow. This is amazing. Major awakening happening here. Big reveal. Virgo, I feel like it's your time to shine. This connection that you're going to have with this person, you're going to shine extremely bright. Even brighter than the sun. Glistening diamonds, I'm hearing. I love this. I, I, I'm trying to pick up. Let me see. Your life's purpose. What's going on with that? Oh, okay. I feel like this, this relationship with this person is going to make you want to learn. They keep giving me training. So maybe you're training someone or they're training you. I'm hearing make you a better person. Heavy influence of positive energy with this this uh, air sign right sun moon rising or venus heavy positive energy this feels so amazing i feel like you're finally arriving here you relearn a lot of things about yourself but in a pot this person brings out the best in you this is and they will bring out the best in you the best you didn't even know you had or the best that you had suppressed Look at that. There's the lovers. Yeah. Virgo, I am super excited for you. Let's see when you're going to meet this person. Let's take a look. So October. When is Virgo going to meet this person? All right. October 27th. There you go. October 27th. The connection gets made. Man, that's fantastic. I mean, if you are that Virgo that's, you know, looking for love, and you've been looking for love in all the wrong places, if you're that Virgo that's looking for love, guess what, baby? It is coming in. Oh. You guys, I am going to, over this weekend, get some new decks. So, um... If anybody, I did put my wish list up. If anybody would like to contribute or, or if you see any decks that um, you would like for me to use, if you want to gift something to me through um, my Amazon wish list, I believe you can contribute to the wish list. So definitely check that out. But yeah, I'm going to incorporate more modern oracle cards so vulnerability you can be completely open with this person virgo this is refreshing oh my god this is your person virgo meeting the one this is the this is going to be the one well and when i say the one i just mean the the, the right one for you Look, this partnership, this is destined. This feels like kismet. This is like Sleepless in Seattle vibes. Just bump it into this person. Yeah, like even if you're not on a train, maybe in, in traffic or on a bus or you're just walking somewhere, like this This is very much, bon this is not you meeting someone through friends or family. This, this, is, this is bumping into this person. It's like, 
a faded meaning. Meant to happen. Meant to occur. Oh my gosh, true love. Your true love is coming, Virgo. Don't quit before the miracle happens, is what I'm hearing, Virgo. Don't give up. Don't give up. All right, decision. Whoa, decision being made about a relationship here. Virgo, some of you are rejecting someone, or you have, which is what we saw, in order to have um, an opportunity for new love to come into your life. Okay? Or you've been rejected, and you're deciding not to chase that any longer. Because a new love. Yep. I'm telling you, Virgo, this energy is very, very positive, And it makes me happy to be giving you this reading. Because I feel like for those of you who are seeking partnership and just want to meet the right person for you, I feel like this is your message. Here you go. Now, I am going to move in a little bit. I want to check out your this new money opportunity. All of these new beginnings are happening for you. Let's take a look and see what's going on with a new job. All right, new money investment. Some of you are bossing up. You're you're taking over. You're being promoted. You're in command and at the command center. You're calling the shots. This is yeah, this is the message. You're calling the shots in your career or you get an opportunity to be the head honcho in your business life, whatever that might mean for you, whether that's working for a corporation or working for yourself or becoming um, uh, an entrepreneur. The money comes in is what I feel. It's a gift, kind of like a loan or a, a forgiveness loan, which frees up more money so you don't have to pay something an old loan back or it's a, a grant of some sort and it has to do with your business or your work life there you go look at this so you know virgo it's funny because i feel like a lot of virgos most virgos that i know they they're really good at business and really good with money they're hard work workers they have a good ethic they stay at the same job basically for a very long time. Once they find their niche, then a Virgo will stick with it, you know. Um, once they find their niche, whatever it is. When it comes to love, I feel like love is very important to you as well. Um, but for some reason, I feel like y you might be, well, most Virgos are very practical. And I feel like, well, you know, love is great, but it's not going to pay the bills. So I got to make my career and my money and my business and my finances first and foremost. And love as kind of like a bonus benefit in my life. It's not like you're anti-love, right? I mean, you're no water sign. You're not the cup. You're not a cup energy. You might have it in your chart somewhere, which might influence your emotions as far as, as as making a romantic connection but I feel as if and you're very practical in love as well but I feel like if your money isn't right love is should not be coming into your life like I feel like that might be your thing you know like if, if you can't pay your bills or you can't or you're not making enough money or you're not reaching that threshold or that goal you will put all your effort and energy into that first to make sure you're stable before you even like there's a extreme independence with you Virgo you're very independent but you're also very deep when it comes to you um, your feelings so much so that you might not even realize and you might be like what me no uh, but you actually are if you're not that person if you're not that Virgo that masculine or feminine that um, comes across as, as very emotional and therefore you might feel like you're not no I think you feel things pretty deeply you and, and some might be so you're very much like a Scorpio that's why their zodiac symbols are very much the same where with with Virgo your symbol is the M and then it twirls back inward which means you're an introvert with the Scorpio 
who sometimes come across as introverts, very much like Virgo, they have the M and then the tail, which means they dart outward, external. So they're they're actually more because they're Mars driven. So you have a very internal thing going on. You're very self reflective, you know. So your emotions are there, but as a Virgo being practical, yeah. You seek the freedom to be able to explore business adventures, and you will get the opportunity to explore your, your financial business life here. There's a freedom that comes to you when you feel as if you have enough money in the bank, you have everything is set, you know, you have enough food in your cabinets. Um, you feel best when the gas tank is full. I don't feel like you like it when your gas tank is like a quarter. You got to have that topped off. You know, you like things to be precise and in a particular order and in routine. That gives you a sense of freedom. It makes you feel like every all my ducks are in order, so now I can go play. And that's kind of what I feel like the opportunity for you to get all of your ducks in order is is going to be coming towards you okay for sure you're you're going to be taking control and command you've been through a lot in your um in this aspect of your life when it comes to maybe physical labor um if you've had physical like jobs that were very physically demanding um like you're a trooper virgo you know and and the pentacles are, they have to do with the physical, not so much always just money, but, you know, even coin, coin is a physical, tangible thing. The, the, the pentacle is earth, which is a physical thing, you know, and you feel the, the physicality of your work life, your job. And I feel like you've, I don't know, I don't necessarily feel like you're burned out at this point. Some of you might even be retired, but you're still physically active in your work life. I don't feel like you're burned out, but I feel like you're at this place now where you're coming to, like, you're still a trooper. You're still pushing forward. You're still working at it. You're not going to quit. And I don't know many Virgos who do quit, but you're getting a little worn down a bit here. And I feel like that's why spirit is bringing in bringing in this gift this opportunity for you to find a way to increase your financial abundance that will give you that freedom to enjoy yeah action and change absolutely some of you might even get that that vehicle that you've been seeking that will help you with your career or your 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 work life there's something here about a car or a, 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 a position involving transportation. Yeah, see, there's there's the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so you're you're definitely it could be it could be age related. I feel for some of you, like it's like it's time to retire. You know, um, I feel like if that's your story, you're going to be able to retire and still work. Because I don't feel like Virgo just retires and leaves around all day. I feel like Virgo's like, all right, well, I'm going to retire, but I need to keep doing something. I need to keep busy. Virgo's like, they're constantly, I don't want to say constantly, but they like to stay engaged. And I feel like you're coming to the end here. Maybe you're thinking about retiring or you're thinking about how you're going to do it. There will be money. And you will be able to keep making extra, is what I'm hearing, based off this Ace of Pentacles, which is, a, it's like a, it's like you receive enough that you can live off of and you can build up from. Do you know what I mean? So maybe there'd be like retirement money and it's plentiful and it'll be enough for you to keep working and building and, and making extra is what I hear. Yeah, look at that. Some of you might be selling your home or thinking about selling your home. You make a heavy duty profit. Your capital gain on selling a property or a business or a home will be huge. Huge. There may be an inheritance that's part of an inheritance that comes in for you or some type of a trust fund that you receive. 
Even the Ace of Pentacles, since it comes from the divine, could be a lot of win. <laughs> For some of you, it might, you might just like strike oil. You know, something here is going on where I feel like there's a freedom that comes from, you know, money doesn't bring happiness, <laughs> but it does bring freedom to enjoy. It does to some degree, you know, um, and I know everyone in the spiritual community, money's not that important. You know what, to a Virgo, yeah, it kind of is um, because some Virgos are about the material, right? Um, and Virgos have a very good spiritual, I, I believe, like foothold on their lives, or at least they get to that point somewhere along the line. But material things are very important to Virgo. So if anybody tries to demean you for that, you well, know, they're just, I mean, just be a Virgo here and tell you they're idiots, right? Virgos like to have nice things, but they also like to have the basics. It gives a sense of security for them. You know, um, even the, even those Virgos who are so far out in left field that they just want to be hippies or they just want to go travel in the world, they'll still make sure they have a home base. They'll still make sure that they're going to travel. They're going to get an RV, right? And their dishes are always going to be clean and the gas is always going to be filled up. <laughs> you know, um, it's it's just a it's just a bit of a security thing. You know what I mean? having enough in your pocket and for some Virgos to even have enough to give back to other people which is very important to them as well so I'm telling you Virgo you've got like such major happenings here in your love life and in your financial world in your money world let's see when the gift is coming in for um, this money opportunity all right, they're telling me November 8th. I didn't even pull anything. Uh, okay, they just said November 8th. All right. Fantastic. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you. What other messages? Apart from what Virgo just learned, what other messages? All right, you've got release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. I feel like I said yesterday, for those of you who are di having a difficult time forgiving, you know, you don't have to. If you're not ready to forgive someone, then you're not ready, and that's fine. But if you want to release, if you're able to forgive, go for it. But if you want to release, you may just need to radically accept a situation, a person, place, or thing for exactly as it is and surrender to that and not try to have high expectations or expect that to change or m try to work towards things that are external to you that are out of your control. You got to just accept how they are and let them go so you can release and rebuild somewhere. Now listen, I am not talking about staying in bad situations, okay? Some of you stay in bad situations because you think you can fix someone and you can you have absolutely zero power over anybody. Even if your kids get older and they're adults and they're living their lives and they're having problems or you think they should do this, you got to leave them alone. They're adults. You raised them, they got to figure it out. Same thing with a relationship. If the relationship is, you feel like you're constantly having to forgive somebody or there's just a lot of turmoil, acceptance is going to release so much in your soul. If you're able to just say, you know what, let me just call a spade a spade. It is what it is. This is what I'm dealing with right now. These are the cards that I've been dealt, but I don't have to deal. I can just lay the cards down on the table and fold and let go. So this is a decision. Right? But you, you fold and here comes your abundance. Okay? You've done the work. The work for you is to have radical acceptance and surrender to something so that the abundance can flow. If you have a ball of clay in your hand and you're holding onto it tightly because you're trying to mold it and squeeze it and the ball of clay representing anything in your life that you are trying to control, the more you squeeze it and the more you try to control it, it will seep out through your fingers 
and get free okay if you just let go whatever you're trying to control will I don't know what it means as far as like you if you're trying to hold on to somebody letting go uh, there's an old song called hold on loosely right if you're trying to hold on to someone or keep someone in your life a family member friend your kids a partner the best way to um, hold on to someone is to give them the freedom to go I know it sounds counterintuitive but that's how it works holding on too tight makes people want to go away okay you do have a connection in your life that's extremely passionate but not enduring and it might be just strictly sexual now, I'm not judging whether that's good or bad but I feel like okay they just gave me the friendship card so for some of you this could be a friends with benefits is it leading to more mm, it, somebody might want it to be leading to more is it you it's a lot of passion yeah connected with this maybe this is something that you need to let go of here and just remember these are extra messages here not necessarily related to what I just read for you some of you either need to let go of that type of a relationship or just be reminded of what you were dealing with here yeah okay interference external party intruding on it okay so maybe we must be talking about something here in particular but uh, hmm. uh, I'm hearing let that friends with benefits go that's a waste of time if you it if, it's a waste of time to think it's going to go any further it could but you know it's always the exception to the rule if you spend a lot of time with a friends with benefits let's say I mean if after a year it hasn't moved into anything else after that time it's been addressed and it's just not going that in and like a year is long enough I wouldn't I mean seriously if after a year that and that's that's the high end of it it has it's not, hasn't gone anywhere let it go let it go I feel like that's the message there for that just let it go let it go all right some of you are going to reconnect with your children, whom either these are um, one or two, like some children or one child that you gave up for adoption. Um, I'm hearing you're going to connect with them, with that, them or one of them. And there's an opportunity to go slow and get to know each other again. Okay. Or um, for some of you, this might be, uh, what's the word they're giving me? Estranged, estranged children, whether it's related to adoption or just your kids you haven't talked to in a long time or one of your kids. Um, there's an opportunity here. You guys are going to be reuniting in um, you know, the next 30 days. There's an opportunity here to get to know each other again. Take the time. I love that. That's very positive. All this positive stuff happening here for you. Okay. Any other messages? Yeah. So you're going to be mastering your finances. <laughs> That's awesome. Yay, Virgo. No more overspending. Okay. Be careful. I feel like that's the message here. This money that you come in or that you come into. Um, luck either all of it or some of it away so you don't spend it i don't know if we have any virgos here that are overspenders there might be some i know i tend to mm -mm -mm. then i'm looking at my bank account. i'm like whoa what did i do sometimes it happens okay um but like i said these are different messages here so you will like whatever is going on with your finances um i feel like because so here's the thing it's really not hard to overdo it when you when you're broke <laughs> but you're coming into a lot of money uh, i feel like that's where it's going to be difficult okay come because you're coming now there's all this abundance and it's like oh my gosh people i feel like the more people have the more they suffer the more people have the more they suffer 
people that don't have much you may think that they suffer but they're they're actually content because they have what they need you know so there's something here about getting or coming into all this money you need to be careful with the abundance with these gifts okay uh someone here some virgo here it may not be all of you but some of you oh wow you've got the lovers haven't had this in a while embracing true love and deep intimate friendships you'll be making a choice from the heart vibrant health and recovery or recovery from an illness somebody loves the color green it's their favorite color um, they're giving me an initial R and the initial P. Okay, you also have ego. The illusion of being trapped is being removed. Accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Breaking free from addictions or unhealthy habits. And then you have the two of wands, beautiful. Taking the next steps. You're making bold and ambitious choices. You'll be partnering with others who share your dreams, where you get to expand your plans, your future, continue to move forward. Awesome. Uh, one more, they said. <coughs> Okay, five of pentacles. All right, so this right here, five of pentacles, okay. This is what I was talking about as far as the spending. Five of pentacles is a poverty card. Be careful with all this abundance that comes in. Save some of it. Fears surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance. So you may need to reach out to um, a money manager, business finance manager, accountant, if you're not already one, um, or have someone help you manage. This is a lot of dough. I feel like there's a lot of money coming in for you. Poor timing for becoming self-employed. There's a fear about that. Um, So here's the, okay, so now they're saying all this money that comes in, remember I said it gives you like a springboard if you retire or you just want to go off on your own as entrepreneur or something like that. It takes a lot of money to do a startup. It does. There's a lot of investment. So I feel like um, be careful with, that. be careful of poor planning. Um, if you're going to start something, Think about how much it's going to cost before you do it. Startups, they, they cost a lot. If you're going to invest, don't spend all of your, don't spend all of it is what I'm hearing. Get some assistance in regard to that, okay? You're a smart Virgo. I don't need to tell you that. I feel like most Virgos know that. I just feel like somebody here might um, perhaps need to hear that, okay? Um, I just want to take a quick look at your Chinese signs. I want to see who this new new person coming into your life is their Chinese sign. And it could also be yours, okay? So you've got Year of the Goat, Year of the Ox, Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake, all right? So that could be you, that could be your person, could be both, or this new person. You might not even know, but you, I'm sure, Virgo, you're going to be like, oh, by the way, as you're sipping your 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 coffee your coffee on your date. Well, what year were you born? <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? What's your Chinese sign? And if you find out that this person's Chinese sign is not here, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. It doesn't mean it's not that person. Okay, you'll know them by by their. What I want to say because of the air energy, I feel like you'll mostly recognize this person by their. Um, total honesty total honesty like it's going to be huge it's a hallmark of this person very self-sufficient and very intelligent like i was saying and you're going to know you'll recognize them by that okay virgo it's going to be a little refreshing because virgo your mercury ruled 
So when you're Mercury ruled, that means you're all about communication. Um, and, and Virgos are generally very honest. If, if they're not, there's some kind of displacement going on. Okay. Um, that would be something like an outlier. Virgos are generally super, super honest. Sometimes more honest than they should be. <laughs> it could be very candid. All right. There's a confession. Someone has something to tell you the next 30 days. Open up your heart. We'll help you attract more love. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Virgo, listen to me. Remember I said there was this fire sign? Remember I said that you were going to be um, kind of in demand? You're definitely going to have people kind of spying on you to see who you are talking to. Or uh, the more you show yourself as having interest in someone else, the more the past is going to hold on even tighter. And the confession is you're going to find out about that, where someone's like, "Who are you opening your heart to someone else? Are you talking to someone else? There's some communication in regards to that. Um, it's not just, it, and it's from, it feels like, like a past person, but it's not, it's not meant to harm you or anything like that. It's just more along the lines of like, I don't know who the person is, but it, it's more along the lines of like whoever you're talking to is making me wanting wanting making me want you even more because you seem to be engaged with somebody else and more interested in them and not me, okay? And that whatever, Virgo. It is what it is. People it's a human thing, I suppose. It's just a human thing. All right, let's get into your charms and your your letters here. All right, September 9th. All right, we've got Gemini, Gemini, Pisces, Leo. Double Gemini's there, okay, you guys? 1978. We do have a Sagittarius or Capricorn. 1971. Someone is 34. 1980, 86. Okay. September 15th. Someone is 50, and someone is 54. Um, I'm picking up Gemini Taurus also, September 2nd. September 20, someone is 49. Someone is 31, someone's always 31. September 8, 1963, 1957, or someone's 57 or 63. Someone's 41. Dirk. I just heard the name Dirk. Dirk. What's up, Dirk? All right. All right, so we have the initial B. We have an S. Yo, it's BS. We have the initial A. Someone's nickname is Ace. We have a C and C and an E. You have the letter M. Mace. Someone's name is, is that a name? Mace. Bad, 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 bad boys. Right? I can't even believe it. I'm so disturbed by this whole Diddy thing. It's like, man, that was top tier, top tier music for hip hop music back in the 90s. You know, I love their songs. That whole genre. Right? And, you know, don't criticize. I, I like a broad spectrum of music. But man, it's so hard to sing that stuff with everything that's going on right now. I'm just like, I must be disloyal now. Okay. I can't support it. All right, someone's name, the initial is an... Oh, they, first it said the letter N as in Nancy, but now I'm getting Z. So it could be both. We have the... Uh, someone has two A's in their name. We have a D and we have a K. Someone's name starts with a U and the letter I. Okay, let me see if I can get any names here. All right, they're telling me, so, all right, they want to give me things. So they're giving me dice, something about rolling the dice. 
Sam. This one's name is Sam. Or Samantha. Sam. Samantha. Hmm. Okay, so my Amazon wish list, you guys, is in the description box below the video. So if you would like to donate, you certainly can. It gets delivered directly to my um, my address. So definitely check. Oh, I'm hearing Kim. Kim or Kimberly. Ralph. I'm hearing Danica. Ida. Oh, Ida. What a cute name. Grace. Rita, somebody's looking at your pick, you pick, day, D-A-E, D-A-E, Derek, okay. All right, um, someone else has two A's. Did I say that already? Two A's or two O's, I'm feeling. All right, let's look at your charms. All right, you've got a broom. So someone's trying to pick out a Halloween costume. Someone's going, are you going to a Halloween party, Virgo. Okay. What else do you have here? Hold on. Broom, and you have a palm tree. So this is like, um, okay. I know palm trees are everywhere, but I'm, I'm hearing someone lives in a tropical, tropical type climate, or wherever there's palm trees. And there's um, Christmas being celebrated something to do with like decorated palm trees for Christmas I have absolutely never seen one of those in real life I don't I don't know if that's a thing because I'm on the east coast northeast we don't have we have zero palm trees out here <laughs> zero and I don't know if I guess if you live in an area where it's warm and you have palm trees do you guys decorate your palm trees for Christmas like it, I don't know do you do that I'm seeing that in my mind's eye. I mean, I think I might have seen it on TV, but I've never actually seen that in real life. So that's kind of cool. You also have um, a cacti, cactus. Okay, so there's definitely an energy. Oh, God, we're getting so many Christmas. Now you got um, like a little reindeer. You have so many uh, Christmas vibes going on here. What is going on? Yeah, you've got like a like a Bambi kind of reindeer here. Rudolph. I'm getting Rudolph vibes. Maybe that's somebody's name or Rudy. But um, definitely getting some Christmas vibes here with this. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You know, we're coming up to it. All right, so the cactus. This makes me feel like, okay, you might live somewhere where there's also uh, cactus type plants i don't know what they're called maybe you have like a small little um cactus plant i forget what they're called succulents or something but this is giving me off more um sustenance more sustainability i feel something about you and being sustain being able to sustain for long periods of time under extreme pressure or extreme weather you know the weathered the weathering of life you have um you have resilience virgo that's what they're saying you're able to withstand things long term you're good at preservation okay yeah so if you guys um if you're on my facebook i have a facebook uh page called the tarot girl and there's also one, I think the links are in the description box. There's also a private group if you want to join. Um, I think you are I think you just have to look it up. It's, what's it called, you guys? House of Virgo? I can't remember. Anyway, I was going to say, if you guys are from the areas where there's palm trees, like warmer weather, with the holidays, 
post some pictures of decorated palm trees because I would love to see them. I know you can't post anything here on YouTube. Um, or you can send them to my email, even. You can send them to my email, all right? House of Virgo, House O Virgo at Gmail. I would love to see them. I'm also hearing the name Kember or Kemmerly. Kember. All right. So, yeah, um, is somebody going to be a, a witch? Are you looking at witchy? Or somebody's sweeping? Doing some sweeping right now with a broom? I just put a broom outside of my door, my front door, because the leaves gather, because we have so many leaves now, right, with the fall. Um, and today, I don't know if you could hear it, but the landscapers are here, and they're blowing all the leaves around. I'm like, what did I put my broom out there for? But yeah, okay. Something here to do with a broom. It could be jumping the broom also is a saying about something to do with marriage. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave that there. I will see you back here tomorrow for your weekend reading. Don't forget, if you want a book, there's an October special discounted on all the readings until the end of the month. So definitely go check that out and check out my wish list too if you don't, if you're interested in helping a girl out. Help a sister out. All right, love you guys. I'll see you all back here. By the way, mods, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You're here every single video, every single night. I just want to give a big shout out. I love you guys. You're amazing. Thank you for always being here. And uh, y'all are going to have to send me your addresses for um, uh, 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 to my house over or send it in the app that we're all on. And because uh, I want to have a little surprise for you guys. All right. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. Lord knows that I've tried to. You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us